hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so my name is garabu sitole and in today's video we are just going to be focusing on integration right and the questions that we are doing are based on integration using substitution so with integration using substitution what we are saying is we are given a function that we do not necessarily know how to integrate using the basic rules right so we've tried the basic rules but they don't seem to work and we've tried the integration table but nothing seems to fit um the sum that we are faced with right so now you have to use integration by substitution so you could think back to high school when you had a very complicated function and you introduced k right you substituted k into your function and then after that you could solve and then take um whatever you had equated to k back to the function that you have that you have simplified right so we are going to be doing something similar to that um in this when we are doing integration using substitution. So there are three cases, but I don't want you to focus much on cases. They just help you identify that in that question, you need to actually use integration by parts because in a test or an exam, they're not gonna, they're not gonna tell you whether you should use the basic rules, whether you should use the table of integrals, whether you should use integration using substitution or integration by parts. So you should be able to identify from a given question that you need to use integration by substitution, right? And there are three cases in which you use this. Um, it is when you are integrating. So this is the first case. It is when you are integrating a function, right? And in that function, it seems like you have an original function and you have a derivative of that function and they are both multiplying each other, right? And in the second case, you seem to have, so in, in this substitution by part, you will see that you have f of x and you have one, f1 of x, right? So you have the original function f of x, right? And f1 of x, right? And it's either they are multiplying each other, they are dividing, or there's an e introduced. So that's how you would see that in this instance, you need to use integration using substitution. So I find it very, you know, nice to do this right and you'll see that most of the time you introduce your u and then things start cancelling out which is nice right so the first sum that we look at is when you're integrating a function and that function is 1 minus 5x raised to the power of 3 over 2 dx right and as i said previously that the dx tells you what you should be integrating with respect to right so one thing I need you to understand, right, which will simplify this um, whole thing of integration by substitution. And that thing is that when you are using this method, you need to look for the most complicated thing in your function, right? And that should guide you towards your u. So if I look at the function that I'm given, it's 1 minus 5x to the power of 3x, right? And the part that seems to scare me when I read this is the 1 minus 5x part, right so i will make that my u so i will say so that's what i was saying that that's what i was saying here that when doing integration using substitution you always look for what seems most complicated to you and make that your u right so in this case i have u is equal to one minus five x right so i have some sort of function right raised to something i don't know how to um, integrate that because with the basic rules you are given a function such as 3x to the power of 2 right you're not given something else something like remember when you have um, 2 plus 5x raised to the power of 2 these this function and this function are not at the same level of difficulty this one is the one that seems most difficult because you now have to open two brackets right and then multiply these together. Unlike this one, if you're just solving, let's say you're equating this to zero and equating this to zero, right? So it would be easier to solve this one. Or well, let's not say zero because I know you guys love to complicate things. Let's say you are solving it to three, right? Let's say you're solving it to three. This one would be easier to simplify than this one, right? So that's what we are saying here. With integration, you had something like this and you could just use the power rule of integration, right? And if you were to integrate this very same function, I just want to show you how it differs with integration by parts and why we are not using the basic rules to simplify this, right? So we are saying 
that let's say you are given a function and you have to integrate this function 3x to the power of 2, right? This is a simple function. So I'll just use the basic rules of integration. And they say that you can take out the 3 to the other side. So I take the 3, I have the integral sign, x to the power of 2, right? And then what do you now have to do? You now have to add 1 to the power. So it becomes x to the power of 3 and divide by the power itself, right? And then the 3 is cancel out. You're just left with x to the power of 3. However, in the question that I'm looking at, I have 1 minus 5x to the power of 3 over 2. That is something completely different. This is something completely different from what I had here, right? So now I need to use integration by parts. I'm going to substitute by u. So it brings me to something that I do know how to integrate using the basic rules. So that's the theory behind integration using substitution. What you are trying to do is to move a function that you don't know how to integrate into a function that you do know how to integrate, right? So don't be scared to introduce the u. And how you choose which function should be a u, you look at the most complicated part, so the one that seems most scary to you, and you choose that to be your u, right? In our question, the most scary thing seemed like 1 minus 5x, and that will be my u, right? So let's get back to our question. I just wanted you guys to see the differences. Okay, after you have done that, you now need to have du over dx, and it's going to be differentiation differentiating this right when i differentiate one i get a zero when i differentiate negative five x i get negative five right but i need this in terms of dx because what i'm going to do is i want to write everything in terms of u right so i want to make this whole thing and have dx as the subjects of the formula so that i can substitute it back into the function that i have right so it's going to be Um, let's work it step by step. So it's going to be du, right, is equal to negative 5 dx. I want dx to be the subject. So I divide du by negative 5. So it's going to be du to, divided by negative 5, right? Okay, and now I need to go back to my function and substitute, right? So the new function that I have is integral of, remember I said 1 minus 5x is u. So I put the u to the power of 3 over 2 right and my dx right this dx is going to be substituted by what i solved for here right what i solved for there so i'm going to have times du over negative five right so if you look at this function it seems like a function that i can now integrate using the basic rules of integration right the basic rules of integration say if you have um a number you can take it to the other side so if i had to rewrite this i can rewrite it as negative 1 over 5 u to the power of 3 over 2 du right i can rewrite this as that and then now i have a constant multiplying a variable so i can take it to the other side so i have negative 1 over 5 all right um and then i integrate the u so it's going to be 3 over 2 plus 1, which is going to give me 5 over 2, so 5 over 2 over 5 over 2, right? And if you had to simplify, you should be left with negative 2 over 25, u to the power of 5 over 2. But you're not done. You now need to bring back, remember what I said, it's like k substitution, right, from grade 12. You have now worked out, you have now solved this function, but you need to now go back and substitute what the u was. The u was 1 minus 5x, right? So it's going to be negative 2 over 25, right, times 1 minus 5x to the power of 5 over 2 plus our c, right? Never forget the c. So that is the answer, right? Okay, so that was the first question. I want us to go to the next question, right? Um, and in this question, there's an E introduced now. And we just want to see how we would deal with something like that, right? So let's just use this new space, right? So our question says, so this is the second question, right? It says integrates x to the power of 2 
e to the power of 2x to the power of 3 plus 1, right? So if I look at this function, this doesn't seem complicated to me, but this seems complicated to me. But making this whole thing, making this whole thing u is not going to solve anything, right? You can try. Let's see. If we had to say u is equal to e to the power of 2x to the power of 3 plus 1, you would have to come back, right? You'd have to now find du over dx, integrate this whole thing, which is getting more complicated. So remember, as you are trying to use the u substitution, you are trying to simplify things, not make things even more complicated. So the first step is to identify what seems most complicated to you. And within that, find what you can, what is complicated in what you just identified, right? So I identified that this part seems complicated to me, right? But in this whole part, in this whole part, what exactly seems complicated? The function, right? Seems complicated. So what I will do is make the function itself equal to u. So I have 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 1. And then find du over dx, which is just going to be 6 x squared, right? Now, if I had to write dx as the subject of the formula, I'll have du over 6x squared, right? And then you go back and you substitute into your function. So it's going to be sx squared, right? e to the power of u. Okay, there was supposed to be a dx here. And I said my dx is du over 6x squared, right? So I don't want you to get scared by the fact that you still have an x squared. Write everything, right? Don't, don't panic. Write everything and you'll see how everything else cancels out. So if you check, the x squared cancels out with the x squared. And I'm just left with e to the power of u, du, right? And then if I had to integrate u, this is just bringing me back to the basic rule of integration, the e, k, u, and you just have e to the power of k u over k right plus c. It's just being it's just bringing me back to this basic rule of integration. So I'm just gonna have, sorry, um, not gonna have the integral sign because I'm now integrating. So it's just gonna be e u. Okay, I had a one over six, right? E u over one, right? Yeah, over one. Okay, um, the du also gets cancelled out. Okay, now I need to substitute the u back into my function. So it's going to be 1 over 6e to the power of, my u was 2x cubed plus 1, right? And then don't forget about your c. So that should be your answer, right? Okay, the third sum that I want us to look at is, um, which sum? Okay, so when we are integrating, excuse me, e to the power of 2x minus 1 dx, right? So as I said, look for what's complicated. This is what seems complicated to me. So it becomes my u 2x minus 1 du over dx so if i integrate if i differentiate this it becomes a 2 right and then i make dx the subject of the formula so i just have du over 2 this is just your basic math so i'm not going to spend much time on it now i go back to my function and i substitute back into the function i take out the 1 over 2 to the other side and i integrate the e right eu over one right so this is easy guys this is getting easy as you guys can see um sorry i just noticed that in my question i actually had a five um so i was integrating five right i would still take the five to the other side so that's just going to be a five here so times five Right, so I'm going to have 5 over 2, e to the power of u, but my u was 2x minus 1 plus my c. Right, this is easy. The u substitution literally brings you to 
an integration function that you can integrate using the basic rules right so let's look at the last sum that we have so um i think this is the fourth one so it says integrate x to the power of 3 over e 3x to the power of 4 dx right so that's what we are integrating so if i look at this what seems complicated the e parts but what in the e part is complicated this right so that becomes my u u is equal to 3 x to the power of 4 du over dx right it literally has steps that you need to follow you find what's complicated and then you make it your u the u that you have just found you find the du of that right then you substitute back into the function now you substitute the u back into the function right so i have s x to the power of 3 over e to the power of u times okay what is du here if we had to simplify this further um my dx would be du over 12 x to the power of 3 basic algebra right so du over 12 x to the power of 3 x to the power of 3 cancels out this is why i'm saying it's fun because everything just ends up canceling out so i have 1 over 12 right times e to the power of u d u right i take the 1 over 12 to the other side because the rules of integration allow me to do so i'm left with e to the power of negative 1 because I'm taking the e, negative u. I'm taking the e to my denominator now, to my numerator, sorry. Okay, let me put the integral sign, du. Right, and then you have one over two. Basic rule of integration, the one with the k, so it becomes e to the power of negative u over negative one, right? And then you substitute the u. So it's going to be 1 over 2, 1 over 12. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm doing this late at night. So negative, my u is 3x to the power of 4. Over negative 1. If you simplify further, you will have negative 1 over 12. Right, if you take the e to the denominator, you're going to have e to the power of 3, x to the power of 4, right? Yeah, and that is your answer. So you have negative 1 over 12, e to the power of 3, x to the power of 4. So that is your answer. This brings us to the end of integration by substitution. The next thing that we'll do is integration by parts. Bye, guys.